Good morning. Today, I'm going to make fruit cake cookie bars. Now, it's a little bit of a process. I'm going to chop up the dried fruit and drizzle it with triple sec, and it has to sit overnight, and then we'll start the cookies tomorrow. I think it's going to be very good, so let's get started on Darlene's table. First, I'm chopping the dates then the golden raisins in the food processor, now the cranberries, and now the apricots. Add the pecans. I'm going to mix this very well and add triple sec. It'll be totally absorbed by the fruit. Mix well. All right, so I'm going to cover this up. I will come back and make these cookies tomorrow. Okay, so next day, here we are. This is the fruit that I cut up yesterday with the pecans and I drizzled triple sec on it. It's, it's all absorbed, there's no moisture. That's what we wanted and, and uh, that dried fruit has softened up. So I'm gonna cover it back up and I'm gonna make the cookie dough. All right, so we're gonna cream the butter. I have white sugar and brown sugar. All right, I stopped and I added the nutmeg. I'm gonna push the sides down and cream some more. Now I'm gonna add the egg. A little vanilla. Push the sides down and I'll start adding the flour. More flour. And the last of the flour. All right, now I'm going to start by adding this fruit mixture. Seems like an awful lot for this amount of dough, but we will find out, aren't we? All right, so I'm gonna use my hands. But if you think about it, the fruit cake has a lot of fruit in it. Well, guys, let's go with all of it. Now, I'm going to take this, see if I've got all the fruit mixed up, and I'm going to divide it in two, two pieces. So what I intend to make here I am going to make a 12 inch, which this is 12 inch by 3 inch wide log and 1 inch thick. So I'm just going to keep working it till I get there. I want it all the way to the end. And then I'll start trying to level it out. And just make it three inches by one inch. That's one inch. A little thicker. And by three inches. I've got that pretty close. 
that's working pretty well. So there's one log. Try to get my sides so that when this, when I cook these bars, they're even, right? So there's one. This is going to go in the refrigerator, and I'm going to make the other one. I know a lot of people love fruitcake, but I've never been crazy about it. I don't like the candied fruit. This isn't candied fruit. It's dried fruit. Like I told you, apricots, golden raisins, cranberries, and dates, and a lot of pecans. All right, going to go in the refrigerator for a while. We'll take care of it this afternoon. I refrigerated this for about two hours and then I put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes. I wanted it nice and firm when I cut it. I'm going to cut it in half. This should make itself. And then I'm going to cut each of these in half. And then I'm going to cut each of these in half. Place two inches apart on your baking sheet and then into the oven at 350 degrees for 13 to 16 minutes, just till they're lightly browned on the edges. Remove the pans and allow it to cool on a wire rack till completely cool. Fruitcake cookie bars. As I mentioned, I'm not a fan of fruitcake with the candied fruit, but I truly enjoyed these cookie bars with the rich, chewy, dried fruit. As the holiday season approaches, the sweet aroma of baked treats fills the air. And what better way to embrace the festive spirit than with fruit cake cookie bars? This is a time of year for giving and receiving holiday sweets as gifts. These cookie bars are another great gift idea for holiday tins. I hope you will give this fruit cake cookie bar recipe a try soon and make some for your friends and family. You will find this recipe on my website, darlenestable.com. So bye for now, God bless, and come back for more goodness right here on Darlene's Table.